Hello Technology Crazy here and today we're going to be covering some Windows 7 tips and tricks just focused around uh, making your life a lot more easy and faster and more productive. Uh, so please stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, so I have Windows 7 open and running right here, and what we're going to be doing is just covering some of the more basic things with just the physical side of Windows 7, uh, just with the mouse and stuff, and then later on we're going to be switching over to keyboard shortcuts, which could be considered a more complicated thing, uh, just since there's so many of them, but what we're going to be doing is just covering just some of the basic ones uh, that you guys will need to know. Okay, so let's pretend we were a teacher or a student or someone trying to copy information from one application to the other. Uh, so let's say we had Internet Explorer open and Notepad. Uh, you're going to notice that we have two programs here, but they're interlapping, and we could resize them by like dragging them all around um, just like that, but that takes a long time. With Windows 7, we can actually just take the top of the application and drag it over to the left side, and it'll automatically make it full size and split it halfway in between the screen and we can take the other application and do the exact same thing on the opposite side uh, we can also take the application and put it to the top of the screen and this will make it full size uh, let's say we also uh, just want notepad just there so let's say we have two open just like this and we want notepad we don't want the other one open uh, we want this one minimized we can actually just take notepad and just shake it like crazy and it will minimize the other one Another really handy feature with Windows uh, 7 is the ability to go to your desktop really easily. So let's say we had this one open and a whole bunch of other programs, but we want to get to our desktop really fast, and we didn't have to, we didn't want to minimize every single window or exit every single window. Uh, you can actually go into the lower right hand corner and click on the Show Desktop button, and uh, we got our desktop there, and we can actually just press it again to open up all our applications. Another really handy thing about Windows that uh, not everyone knows is that you can actually hold down Control and you can actually select more than one file on the desktop or in any uh, folder. So if you hold down control, we can select this one, this one, this one. Um, instead of just dragging each one around, uh, we can just do a whole bunch at the same time. Uh, this is also really helpful if we are selecting a whole bunch like this, and we, d we want all of them except for this one right here. We can hold down control and click it to disclude it. Okay, so next is keyboard shortcuts. Now, keyboard shortcuts are a little bit harder to learn, as I said before, but once you learn them, I guarantee you it'll save you lots of time. Now, you can think about anything on Windows, and there is a keyboard shortcut for it. In fact, if you want to learn more keyboard shortcuts that I'm not saying, you can actually go into the program where you want to find out about it, and go into the options, like under page, and you can see all the keyboard shortcuts right beside the action. Uh, as you can see, uh, if I want to delete browsing history, I can do Control shift delete um, so let's focus on some easier ones first, like control paste or a copy paste, undo, select all, and save. Uh, those are ones that everyone would use every single day and I think are very important to learn. Uh, so let's open up Notepad and Google, let's search high over here, and we're going to be copying this paste over here into Notepad. Now, the traditional way is to right click, press copy, right click, and press paste. But there's a keyboard shortcut for that. So let's just select this bit of text over here press control C, go to the where you want to paste it, and press control V. Now let's say you deleted everything by accident just like I just did, and um, I'm stressing out right now and I don't know how to undo it. You can actually press control Z, and that will undo whatever you just did. So that's a big lifesaver. The next one is control A, which will select everything in that window. Very handy if you want to delete everything, um, or select everything, or copy everything. So I can just press control A for all, and delete it. The next is save. Now this is um, one of the most important ones because everyone needs to save documents here or there. Um, so you press control S to save. So let's just say we typed hi, control S. Uh, here we can save it as whatever we want. Let's save it as like that. Now we can edit it and we're in the middle of typing and we're like, ah, I, I want to save this document. Press control S and it'll save automatically. Now the next few ones are a little bit more advanced, like for example if I uh, hold down Alt and Tab, I can actually go through all the windows that are open on my screen right now. Very handy, but not everyone needs to know that one. Now if you have certain versions of Windows uh, 7, you can actually do Windows key and then Tab, and you get this 3D animation in between all your uh, windows. Another one is the Windows plus the D button, and this will basically show your desktop. I went over it, it does the exact same thing as pressing the show desktop button as we showed you before. Uh, the very last one I'm going to show you is very useful. Not everyone needs to know it, but it, it's very useful if you use it in the right way. So under this page, under Google, let's just make this full screen. I can press Control F for uh, find, and now I can type in any word, and it will actually find that word 
all the times it is on this page. So now I can actually press enter and go through each time and it'll tell me how many times it found it. It says 26 matches. Very handy for searching for stuff with a lot of information. I guess that concludes this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe and stay around for the Pick Me program. That's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye. Anyways, the Pick Me program winner this week is Tomo735. Uh, he basically does hockey videos and he actually has really good accuracy. He does all these uh, cool type of trick shots and he practices and all this stuff. Uh, so if you want to go and check out his channel, all you have to do is go and click on the Click Me button on your screen right now. And if you want to be part of the Pick Me program, all you have to do is go into my latest video and say Pick Me and you can say it as many times as you want and I might pick you. So I guess that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye. <laughs>